Hey everybody, it's Hylian Alchemist, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we did Tall Tall Mountain, and in this episode, we are about to enter a course which also has a gimmick. So in this room here, there are actually three paintings. This one right here does not work, but the other two does, like this one here, and the other one that's over there. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this painting right here. Oh, look at those two Goombas. How sweet. It's like mother and child, but anyways. This is Tiny Huge Island, and wow. Everything is small. This Goomba is small. Why is... Why is everything so small? I don't understand. What's going on here? What is this crazy world? Okay, but yeah, this gimmick that I was talking about, um... First of all, mission number one is pluck the piranha flower. And yeah, even this piranha plant is still small here. So the gimmick with this course is that why it's called Tiny Huge Island, well... When we entered the painting, we were actually Big Mario, and the entire island was tiny. However, once we jump into the warp pipe here, and as you just saw, now the island is huge, and Mario is little. <laughs> it's like little Big Mario. Actually, that's what would be, uh... That's what would inspire, like, uh, the title for Little... Little Big Planet. Well, I mean... Well, I mean, the mechanic for that game is just, you know... Like, you know... Creating your own levels or something. I don't know, something like that. I didn't have much experience with uh, Little Big Planet, honestly. I played it, but didn't have much experience. But I digress. Yeah, quite simple. Just knock out all those giant piranha plants, and then there's your star. So, yes. It's a huge island right here, so yeah, just... Like, whenever you enter either one of those paintings, then, uh, like, you can find those war pipes, and then you can switch between either a tiny island or a huge island. So let's go over this way, and of course, you well, we already know this, that, like, um... I just painted a waver right here. Jump into it. Mission number two is the tip top of the huge island, and look at that! Once we enter that giant painting, then we're back in the same course, but we're in the, um... We're in the huge island. So Mario's tiny right now. And with these giant Goombas, you just ground pound on them, then they give you blue coins. So it's actually a... it's a pretty neat course there. With this, uh, with this kind of mechanic. So yeah, th those are the, uh, the two ways to get into this course. Just like, you know, just get into the small picture and then you'll be Big Mario and then... And then the island will be tiny. And then just get into the big painting, then... Then the island will be huge. So it's pretty neat like that. Um, that big fish right there, um, his name is Bubba, if you don't already, already know, and he's got some cool shades there. That goddamn fish also used to scare me when I was a kid. <laughs> so many things that scare me in this game, even though it's so colorful and so, so lighthearted. I say this a lot of times, but you know, it, it does have scary things for a kid's game. And yeah, that uh, gust of wind kind of screwed me over there. So anyway, um, back to, uh, Bubba there. Yeah, you do want to be careful with him. Why he's so scary? Well, well, he was one of my childhood fears, is that, um, that, uh, that fisher will actually eat you alive. Like, seriously, he, like, if you get too close to him, then he'll actually eat you, and then you lose a life. And even when you're swimming on the surface, he'll still eat you. He'll, he'll just jump out of the water and then just eat you. So, we gotta be careful with him, or with him there. Uh, for some reason, he does not appear in the DS version. Instead, he is replaced with Big Bertha. Which, both of them are practically... The, they, they they do exactly the same, so... I really don't know why there would be a change, but... Hmm. So, obviously, another way we have to do in this mission is just go to the top of the, uh, the huge island here. To get to that star. Oh, and, uh, just a little warning there. Um, this, uh... This course here can be frustrating on so many levels. And why is that? Well, this is where the camera loves to fuck with you. I am dead serious. You really gotta... The, the camera is your big enemy in this course. So... Yeah, just, just be careful with that, because... This is where the camera says, fuck you to all the players. So, just... 
So it's trying not to lose your uh, frustration there with the camera. Or maybe it would. I mean, sure, that is a trade with most other N64 games, but, you know... But the camera screwed me over a lot, so of course I'm gonna bitch. Anyway, so... We have a familiar face right here. And, of course, the uh, mission name was Rematch with Koopa the Quick. So, yes, Koopa the Quick. You all remember him from Bob on Battlefield, right? So, you remember how uh, we used to race him to the top of the mountain where the King bob -omb was? Well, he's back again. And so, just like before, we had to race him, and the goal is in the Windswept Valley, which is right over there. We are getting close to it, actually. Um, one thing that is a little more difficult than the last race is that he is actually a little faster this time around, as he explains that he spent his savings on his new Koopa Mach 1 Sprint Shoes. So that would explain his um, increased speed there. He's, he's got a little faster. And it did take me a few tries there. Either I um, fell to my death because of the stupid wind, or I just lost the race against him. He's gotten more persistent with this. And this next mission is Five Itty Bitty Secrets, and of course that's where um, you need to uh, you need to be Big Mario, or the uh, island has to be tiny for this. I actually tried to get on top of that block right there, but there was no way, and this guy right here kept on annoying me. Huh, so even though I touched that fireball, I didn't even get burned. It's kind of weird. Yeah, the Prop Lance and Womp Womp's Fortress actually used to chop on you if you disturb them from their sleep. This time, th those Prana Plants actually attack you just by breathing fireballs at you. So if you get to these uh, little tiny holes here, as long as the island is tiny, then that's where the secrets are. Oh, would you look at that? I just... I just knocked out of that Goomba into oblivion. <laughs> eh, it's kind of amusing to see. I am such a jerk, I know. And this right here is where the uh, cannon is, and speaking of cannons, there's a bob buddy right there, so we can talk to him and he'll un unlock the cannon for us. Of course, uh, we can only use that cannon if, um, if we're Tiny Mario. Which would actually explain, like, I, I did just explain that, um, that's where the cannon would be. And so, obviously enough, the, um, we have to be Tiny Mario for that. I actually do, do know one thing, that, um, in the DS version, this mission is actually replaced with, um, another Klepto mission. Well, I mean, you know, the bird from Shifting Sandland. Oh, he's actually in this course, if you're playing the DS version. And I think he still does steal your hat as well. Well, I mean, if, um... Well, while you're big, Mario. I think that's what happens. Which makes everything more frustrating, of course. Mm. Yeah, just like with uh, Shifting Sandland, then just... Just grab a star and then... Then there you go. But after getting all these secrets, then that star is located on that floating platform, and we just have to um, step on that switch so we can get across those... I just saw that Goomba fall out of the or fall out of the sky. Okay, well that was uh, that was weird. Oh yeah, did you also happen to notice that um, I have 99 stars in my star counter? Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Just as soon as we collect this star here, look at that! Look at this! We did it, guys! 100 stars! 100 stars in this game! Break dancing time! Okay, yeah, I know. I do sound very excited for this, even though we didn't actually collect every single power star in this game. But you know what I mean, because, you know, I get all 100 stars. And so I do have to celebrate because of how far we came in this LP. We've come so far, so we have, we have like, 20 stars left to go. And then we're done with the game. Just got Bowser to defeat, and then... Selfie is officially done. Can't believe it. So this mission here is Wiggler's Red Coins, and of course, um, I had the 100 coin mission to do. There are actually two ways to get to Wiggler's uh, house, or Wiggler's cave, which is right over there. Why? Well, I mean, well, there are two entrances to the cave, but 
There's actually one where you can gain access to, where you can only gain access to, but there are two ways to it. One is using the shell by going across the bridge. Unfortunately, I was stupid enough to fall off the bridge, and, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's... That's make a sadistic choice. Well... Ugh. I had to the fish. It's that fucking fish. Alright! I'm gonna do it! Here we go! Oh, God. Oh, no! 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 Ah! Oh, okay. Well, um, that wasn't all that, uh, that really wasn't satisfying. I was expecting something more dramatic. Hmm. Well, I am disappointed. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, there was one way you can get to Wiggler's Cave there. The other way, though, um, is just by hopping into the cannon like I just did, and as long as your aiming is right... And that was just pure luck. I just... I admit it. My aiming sucks. And so, being able to bless that tree was just pure luck. Honestly. No, no, don't don't look at me like that. It's, it's not like I'm that skill aiming. I really do suck at aiming. Trust me on this one. But anyways, uh... Oh, 100 coins under stars. <laughs> look at that there. Uh, of course, it's not... It doesn't make all that much sense since uh, my life counter is actually six. I mean, if it was 100, then, you know. Well, actually, no. Under what coins, under what stars. <laughs> but it's not going to last now since um, I just got that red coin. So there's Wiggler's Cave, and there's Wiggler right on top of there, or right above there. It's actually weird, though, because um, I'm going to say right now, the last mission in this course is uh, actu actually does involve Wiggler, and this is where you... That's actually where you meet him. Like, you, you just meet him in the flesh. But, um, it's just kind of weird, though. Like, the mission, like... You know, we, we would uh, go in Wiggler's Cave and collect the red coins first before we actually meet Wiggler. And we could still see him up there. The hell? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Uh, sorry about that. My bad. That was, um... For some reason, my, uh, capture device, and yeah, I, I fell off that, um, that platform there. But for some reason, my, uh, capture device just kind of blacked out there for some odd reason. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe it's just my capture feed. I don't know. I mean, I, I am using the, uh, the hop hog for, um, for recording this game. So... I don't know if it's the uh, capture device itself, or if, or if it's actually my capture fee doing it. I don't know. Anyways, and it's especially in uh, this cave as well. Like I've been saying, how um, this course loves, like, the camera when you're in this course loves to fuck with you. Well, this cave is no exception either. And especially that Wiggler's Cave is especially notorious for that. So, you gotta be careful with that one, because, like, if, um, if you keep getting screwed over by the camera, like, if you're, tr if you really can't see where you're going because of the camera screwing you over a lot, then you will most likely fail and fall to your death. So, you gotta be careful with that. But anyways, uh, this last mission here is Make Wiggler Squirm. And so, the second entrance to get to Wiggler's Cave, and that's actually the other entrance, like, we don't actually, um... Like, uh, the, the first entrance was getting to the part where, with the red coins, but the second entrance, this is actually where we get to meet Wiggler, because while we were in the cave, the part with the red coins, then we could never get to Wiggler. This is the only way to get to him, though, so just wrap on that as long as you're, uh, you're big Mario, and then the house will flood, or his cave will flood. I just, I was just reading the dialogue there. And then just, and then just change to Tiny Mario, and then just hop in there, and then... And it looks like we got a boss, so... Uh, this is actually our last uh, course boss here, not counting Bowser, so they're actually like four in total. So basically with Wiggler, um, he's actually pretty simple. But uh, you do take a lot of damage if you, um, if he runs you over, so you gotta be careful with that. So like I just did, just jump right into his head. See, see how much damage I took just by touching him? 
So what I gotta do here is just jump on his head, and that's about it. It's it's just simple like that. Just make sure he doesn't run you over, though. Because you do take a lot of damage there. And he does get faster, and he actually he gets more aggressive and chases after you for a few more tries. But after three tries, then that's about it. So it's just simple. <sighs> Especially since we're in one of the later courses. He's, just, he's an easy boss. And then he shrinks down, and then he just... He just falls to his death. Yeah. Oh, that was anti anticlimactic, I should say. A little piece of trivia there, like... Remember how, like, usually when Wigglers get pissed, they, uh, their bodies turn red? Well, for some reason, um, he actually didn't do that this time. He, he, his color didn't change from yellow to red in this game for some reason. Now, he does do that in the DS version. Like, if you actually jump on his head a second time, then he actually turns red. And then he shows his angry face, but he didn't... He didn't turn red at this version for some reason. Even though in Super Mario World, which I believe was his debut appearance... Um, well, actually all the Whalers, they still did turn red. As their, uh, sign of anger, but... He didn't do it in this one. So, yeah, kind of weird. Maybe it's because, um... Maybe it's because they probably couldn't uh, program Wiggler to where he would turn red if you hit him at other times, but at least he managed to do that in the DS version, though, so. Anyways, so now Tiny, Tiny Huge Island is done, and we have two more courses to go. Yeah. So, um, the next course actually has yet another gimmick, and we will see what that is in the next episode, so... Till next time, see you guys later.